Well, good morning. It's um, day whatever. Uh, this is the video for the second half of the cruise, and, and uh, I'm excited that we are in Cozumel. And you can see we're just getting started. Those are the other piers here at the International. They've got the gangplank down. Um, but here's the exciting part. We are the first cruise ship to allow Americans. But this is the first cruise ship to sail from America. Uh, she left Florida two days ago with the first batch of American cruisers um, sailing from the United States of America. And uh, now we won't see any of those passengers because uh, their protocols are going to be that nobody can leave the ship unless it's with an organized ship sponsored excursion. So we won't see any of the people out there in Cozumel, but still it is a real landmark that she has sailed it all. She's pioneered sailing from America. She is a pretty ship. You can see other balcony people watching her too. All right, so we have docked. We're aboard or ashore is the other side. So I'm not a morning person, but uh, being here was important enough. They want us to stay on this side because the celebrity is still actually docking. Thank you. I have not seen the edge this close up. And uh, so. So here they are, both ships together. That is the mayor of Casimal with his press entourage. And here is the gamut of salespeople. And here it is, the, the gauntlet of the stores. The military is here. We, uh, the dog sniffed our bags and verified that there are no snacks, no Scooby snacks. We are the very first passengers off board. I think that um, they actually well, there didn't seem to be many people waiting, but they also stopped. Good morning. Um, <clears throat> the passengers for safety because the other ship was docking. Um, but I convinced them to just let me off. <laughs> so the gauntlet is not as crazy as usual because it's still quiet. Finally, here we are on Kazumel Streets. So, this is where we're going to camp for a while. Um, the Hotel Barracuda and the No Name Bar. Um, we recently heard about this. They call it the Crew Bar. Uh, or the No Name Bar. Right, so here they have all the name tags of all our old friends and all the cruise ship themed stuff. And uh, so Rob is set up over there, ready to start his meetings. Where is he? Where is Rob? There he is. So, I have a little friend here. So a lunchtime update here from No Name Bar. Um, 
still not too crowded. They said that the, you know, they haven't been getting passengers off the cruise ship, and of course the crew is not allowed. So, um, you know, we are just enjoying uh, the the cloudy weather means that it's not too busy. There's Rob working hard, and uh, me too. But I've got my massage scheduled, and uh, just a perfect day at No Name Bar. So, even now, two o'clock in the afternoon, it's still so quiet. But definitely, it's nice to be really welcome. <laughs> we got back just as the rain started but all in all pretty lucky and uh, time to go through the gauntlet of merchandise so back on the show back, back on the ship getting ready for the ice show um, of course, more people might come, but just wanted to show how a lot of the rows are blocked off with these little covers, including the front two rows. And uh, I didn't want to do any video during the show, but, you know, again, really empty, plenty well, of space. 15 minutes early, so. Which is when you're supposed to come. So this is the Windjammer at lunchtime, and if this doesn't show how easy it is to get around without any crowds, I think nothing will. Of course, we've got the laptop set up and uh, about to have a delicious lunch. So this morning we woke up in Freeport, Grand Bahamas, and. Um, I had no idea what to expect, but this is way more industrial than I imagined. I'm totally cool with that because it's very different. I want, I want to show you this <clears throat> uh, shipping port. Look at this ship. Every single one of those little boxes is the size of a tractor trailer. And there's got to be thousands, thousands. The ship is registered in Singapore. So the scale here is immense. That's probably not more than Port Elizabeth or, you know, other places we're familiar with, but, you know, to be right here is pretty, pretty neat. Now, there's something else we've got going on here. A couple other things. We've got a couple carnival ships in the spa kind of getting worked on while they're resting. And, uh, and then we also have this floating island tied up to us. It looks like a big flat gas tank. And uh, I don't see any now, but there's tons of these little tugboats. It looks like tugboats are the main form of transportation around here. Now, I'm assuming that the other side of the ship is, uh, you know, up here with, for passengers to walk and, uh, and a little more touristy. But, it, but I'm digging this because it's a little bit more unique. So... Freeport, Grand Bahama. As predicted, the uh, the part where we're supposed to walk is on the other side, and they have these adorable little houses. So, still clear the industrial routes. So there it is, Freeport Harbor. Mm -hmm. Well, 
I don't know that there's really much else to say. It's the last thing. Last port. We did get a cool welcome back to adventure for being cruising pioneers. We just saw the post that the first customer has boarded a Royal Caribbean cruise ship in the United States just a few minutes ago and uh, so a Royal Caribbean ship will depart from a United States port in just a few hours so I'm happy that, that we're back. Um, we did get printed proof of our negative COVID test so that we can get onto the airplane tomorrow and uh, we'll be back in a couple months on the symphony.